Good morning everyone. My name is Glenn Wald. I'm an author. I enjoy writing fiction. Mostly science fiction. I also do all kinds of other fiction such as romance or romance or fiction. And I do mystery. So my topic for today is how to overcome writer's block. I know the struggle of trying to write something and it just does not work. This is the thing. If you are writing a project and two chapters on you are stuck thinking, oh my gosh, what's happening next? I can't think. Then maybe that project was just not meant to be. That is my belief. What I do is stop the project don't write it the idea is nonsense carry on with something else and that, that that's like my first suggestion on writer's block if you stop what you are doing and maybe your interest is in something else maybe you're writing about a murder mystery two chapters on you think to yourself huh so what's happening next then you take a few days and you think about it and think about it but nothing comes to mind then stop writing murder mystery start writing something else uh, maybe something that you know maybe write a small essay maybe something like flowers i mean there's a lot to write about flowers the color the shape what kind of animals benefit from these flowers what does it make you feel does it make you feel happy sad is it is it a dead flower, a live flower? You know, just think about all those things or think about a mountain range, the majesty of a mountain range, the trees growing around it, maybe a waterfall falling from it, snow laying on it. Think about the, the animal life and write about it, even if it's a whole bunch of nonsense. Like for instance, there's a mountain lion. He's been trying for years to catch a certain deer. So he neglects his family and he goes out finding this deer. Now he has two sons that looks up to him and what do they do? They want to follow their father. They abandon their mother in the middle of the night searching for their father, searching for a deer. There's a whole lot of interesting things that you can write there. But that's just one example of going to something else and writing something else while you are stuck writing another story if after a month you cannot figure out what to write that story is not meant to be carry on with something else do a new project think of something new another way to deal with writer's block is drawing pictures what i do is i doodle when i doodle my creative cogs are turned i draw anything that i can think of while I'm drawing, I'm thinking about the story that I'm writing. You come up with new ideas. Your mind is refreshed. You write about things that you didn't think of writing. Maybe you came to a part where your characters had a conversation and there's actually no way forward. Skip to another scene. Make something new. Bring something new into the story. As soon as you finish with that new part, you will know what to do after that. Never stop writing. Never stop writing. Another place you can find inspiration is looking at art, listening to music. I've read somewhere someone said, go to the beach. Now, I live six hours from the closest beach, so that is not possible. Going on YouTube and watching a beach is not the same as actually being on the beach three weeks ago I was at the beach with my wife and kids and believe me listening to the sounds on YouTube watching is not the same as being there. there it is a complete different ball game something else that you can look at is maybe taking a walk going to the mall walking through a bookstore and looking at the covers of other people's books maybe you find something there that inspires you Watch movies, that's also a very, very good thing to do. I'm a lover of Star Wars, 
so naturally i like writing science fiction and something in the line of star wars we know we cannot write about star wars so what i do is i write stories that interest me that might fall into the star wars universe in a certain way what we need to do is to overcome writer's block is actually not to leave what you're doing but to encourage it to find sources of inspiration if you cannot find sources of inspiration ask yourself this is this project going anywhere should i continue with this project if you find that you answer no stop the project maybe in two three years time when you go back to the project and you read on it and you think to yourself wow i should have continued this this could have happened next that's when you continue that project you don't have to finish a book in a month you don't have to finish a book in two months if you are working on a deadline if you're working for survival then find something that you can write easily and quickly because something that causes your writer's block it's not gonna happen um, you're gonna write garbage trust me I've tried I write garbage when I have nothing more to write on the story so writer's block can be overcome by doing creative things reading writing watching movies walking standing on the beach if you can talking to other people even that that's also helpful sometimes you can do an array of things to get over it but get over it quickly because if you are not writing on the story in a month time then that project is not gonna work so i hope if you you've learned something in this session i am not a perfect writer i am still learning as i am going i do not have published work <laughs> funny enough but i've been writing for 12 years on my own story and i've read what other people do and i've been in the process of trying to publish my my stories but it never works out so i am on this journey i am doing this now i love stories i love writing them and i love sharing it with other people not my wife because we we don't like to be criticized by the ones we love <laughs> let's be honest about that so I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you took something away from this. My name is Glenn Wald. I'm an author. Please like, subscribe. If you know someone with writer's block, share it with them. Maybe something I said will help them. You never know. Let's work together on this. Please visit my Patreon page. If you like what I'm doing, there are samples on my Patreon page of the books that I write. Well, the samples are the first chapter of each and every book that I write. At the moment, there are only two, Death's Underpass and the Stellar Chronicles, The Genesis of the Void. So, enjoy, thank you, have an awesome, awesome day.